Hello, welcome to QuickSmith for web and mobile. Let me start by giving a short introduction to Smith chart. The Smith chart in, was invented by Philip H. Smith. It is a graphical aid designed to assist in solving problems with transmission lines and matching circuits. Smith chart can be used to simultaneously display multiple parameters, including impedances, admittances, reflection coefficients, scattering parameters, noise figure circles, constant gain circles, and regions of unconditional stability. Even today, Smith chart is the preferred method of displaying how RF parameters behave at one or more frequencies. Most RF network analyzers include a Smith chart option for display of results. QuickSmith is a Smith chart based linear circuit simulation program. It is fun, educational, and intuitive to use. It was written about 20 years ago for Windows operating system. Recently, I ported it to the web. Some of the features offered by this program are impedance matching, frequency component sweep, load impedance interpolation for frequency dependent loads, amplified design analysis using gain and noise circles, incision loss plots uh, of S21 graphs, and there are ELF files with solved examples of network matching and, and amplified design. QuickSmith contains two sections. On the left side is a Smith chart. On the right side is a schematic section that contains ladder network slots and components below it. To add component, you have to drag and drop it to the ladder network like this. And to remove, uh, simply drag and drop the wire or the null component on top of it. So let's jump right into QuickSmith and get started by looking at an ex example. Let's say our goal is to match a 500 ohm load to 50 ohms. So we start by updating the load value by right clicking to 500 ohms. Next step, we um, Take the mouse and pointer and place it on the blue dot and you'll see on the right side you get matching tips. Let's pick the second network. So we take a parallel capacitor, place it on the parallel slot and you change the step size of the spin button by double clicking it. Now the capacitance is increased until you reach the constant resistance of one line, which is the 50 ohm constant resistance line. Now what is left is to tune out the remaining reactors. We do this by placing a series inductor onto the horizontal slot and keep increasing its value till we reach the center point which is 50 ohms there you go so now we have matched a 500 ohm load to 50 ohms you can find a link to more examples in the faq page if you click on to faq and scroll down you will see um, more examples and here you can find examples um, with starting from simple resistance reactants all the way to small signal amplified design using its parameters. QuickSmith is freely available for download on GitHub. I have posted links for it. It also works for mobile browsers, uh, but, uh, but with some limitation. You can use this pretty much uh, with most browsers. I'm not sure if it works with the Internet Explorer, but it does. Uh, it has been tested on uh, Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Thank you. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope this is of help to you.